we will all offer the prayer of meditation. Father who helps at dawn, help us to see it see others as better than myself. It's when we're humbled as someone small, that's when all problems are solved. Help, help us to live that life today. No matter how small the door of heaven, may we be able to enter. May our children be raised up to the highest. We believe that it will happen according to the word in Jesus' name. We thank you and bless. Amen. Please repeat after me, sheep. God's promise is that we only receive blessings. Are there so many blessings to receive? Well, how much is there in this, in this universe? He's given all of that to us, but it's because we didn't obey. It's because we disobeyed that we had to leave all that and be cast out. So then to get all that back, we have to always be receiving blessings. Someone says, are there that many blessings to receive? Yes. Even just personally, there's so many things. And then to make our children receive blessings and it doesn't end there. To be a patriot, to save our country, our people. So how much is how much work is there to do? And what is this? It's work to receive blessings. So. I have to receive to make others receive. So God says, you have to become a blessed man in order to become someone who can share blessings with others and you can pass blessings to your children. So this is how good it is. If you had a, a house that's, you know, if you had gold as big as this house, you know, you wouldn't, even if you had all the treasures, you wouldn't be able to um, buy this. So it says in Matthew chapter 13, if you truly know what this treasure is, you'll sell everything on this earth to receive it. This is eternal life for us to go to heaven eternally and to pass this to our children. But you see these people who say they believe in Jesus. They say they've got eternal life and they're passing, they're passing it to their children, but all they do is give loss to others and so they're cursed. God, he says you have to give profit to others. So as you keep repenting, if you find, if you receive wisdom and knowledge from God, you know, at work, wherever you go, even if you have a little shop or if you're cleaning the streets, what you do already, it's different. You do things to receive blessings. The, the, all the wealthy people in the world, if you read the books, the secrets to their success. Before I was spiritual, I looked at a lot of those books, you know, because I wanted the heart of, oh yeah, I too will, will want to live like that. But this president of a big company, he disguises himself so that no one knows. And he goes into the, the lowest place of a different company so that no one knows. So this is what we hate the most. But Joseph did the lowest. He was at the. He he did the lowest things. Jesus is in the lowest place. What's the lowest place? The smallest. You know, the door to heaven. It's so small, no one can enter. But I, but I can. So if we keep that place, then we'll succeed. So if, let's say I do this, you know, if you do this, it, it's not worth much. The lower, the lowest you go, what's, what's something of high quality, something where you can, where it's, it's very flexible. Other things, this, you know, you pull a little bit and it'll break. It's the same with a piano. The more octaves, the, the better quality. So the more you can embrace others, the bigger heart where you can forgive others, that's someone who is respect worthy. But Jesus, 
He said, anyone can come. Anyone who is laboring with heavy burdens. He didn't say, oh, the Pharisees can't come. He said the Pharisees deserve wrath, but he said anyone can come. He didn't say, oh, you know, the Roman soldiers that nailed me to, you know, they can't come. He said anyone can come, Matthew chapter 11, verse 28. So to have this heart of Jesus Christ, you know, test to see if you have this faith. Anyone. So anyone should be okay. But if you put okay in, backwards it's ko in other words i have to die for everything to be okay so the americans they they made that word well we need to praise that video so it's something so good i learn a lot from the young children if they're so happy even if they can speak properly if something's so happy they start to, to they start to babble Why? Why does that child suddenly do that? Because they're so happy. So we too, like a child, if we're so happy, you know, we we make these jokes about video. If I was doing things by my strength, you know, I know how to pose, and but that's all the the being a hypocrite. Children, they don't have hypocrisy. How to how much? How much? Well. There's a guest, and they're about to eat, and a child will suddenly just do a poo. But there's no one who's going to curse that because they're innocent. No one's going to say, oh, I'm about to eat, but you've just done a poo. No one says, you know, something cursing that child or slandering them. Why? Because that child is innocent. They have a heart where they don't harm others. So until we're recognized by those around us, it's going to take time. So God says, you endure. If you endure, you receive the blessings of a king. You know, when you get to a certain point in time, then you'll recognize. People will be like, that person will never harm me. And if something happens, something, they're arguing about money or something, if you give up and you give profit to others, even if someone is slandering you people will be like no that person you know that person is someone who would never do that you know when i someone said about me you know he came so they were saying about me oh he came you know right next door to us for a revival you know even to the bath he never called you know and so the people around will say no he's someone that would never harm he always gives profit to others that's the heart of jesus christ so till you get to that time until you're recognized by others it will take time but from that time you will receive blessings of a king so that's why you have to wait and endure so th- These are the blessings we have to receive this dawn. Is this our men? So everything will work out. So after vigil, because I don't eat dinner, I went to eat some noodles. It's $2.50. Um, it's, it's, it's sold on the street. It's on the way home. So I think I remember going there three times, but they remembered us. I said, how do you remember us? And they just, they just smiled. So what is it that we did there that they remembered us? They remember you if you do something good or if you do something bad. If you did something bad already, the way they look is different. But there's something good that we did that they remembered us. So as time goes by, as as that gets stored up, then that's when you can become a candidate to become a president. You truly live as a man. And these blessings go down to your children. And they'll say, oh, isn't that person from that family? Oh, aren't they the children of so-and-so? You know, you if you go to the countryside, you hear there's a reputation. Oh, that person's the child of that stingy man or, you know. So to have the heart of Jesus Christ, that is faith. In other words, you will have 
good rumors about you. If you have bad rumors, you know, things turn out badly because God hears. You know, in the world, they say, they say that the, the voice of the people is the voice of God. The, the heart of the people is the heart of God. So we have to live as a man. So those, those people who live as a man receive the blessings of a man, and those people who live as beasts receive the beast's the beast blessings. But a beast's blessings are curses. So God says to live as a man. What is the way to live as a man? Let's find Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 13. Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 13. Let's read this one verse. So just before that, it says, if you study a lot, you know, it's a headache. They say ignorance is bliss. Why is it the more you know, it should be good. But why is it, why is it troubles? Why is it a headache? The more you know of the world, it's a headache. There's, the more you know, the more tormented you are. But if you're inside of God, there is no, is, there is no torment. Faith is so good. In the world, They talk about, you know, utopia. You know, they say that's that's how you fix your destiny. So there's a word for that, but practically it's, it doesn't exist on this earth. So they talk about it, but it only exists in Christ. So it's saying utopia, meaning you, you, you've got a trophy, you know, because I'm ignorant. But in other words, it's something good. So who's it good for? You. But it, this only happens in, this, in the word. You know, the world, the world talks about happiness, but where is their happiness? You see these people who witness about happiness. They say, oh, this year, our potato crop was so good. That's why we're happy. What's so good about a potato crop? That's not happiness. Just because they receive things of this earth, they think that's happiness, but that's wrong. If you're of this world, you belong to the world. But how can there be happiness? You have to belong to good to have happiness. 1 John chapter 5. 5 verse 19. So the conclusion when all has been heard is fear God and keep his commandments because this applies to every person. Is this amen? So at this dawn, God says, if you fear God and you obey the 66 books of this, of this word, that's the duty of a man. What is fearing? It is the beginning of wisdom. What is wisdom? Wisdom is better than having all your desires fulfilled. Proverbs chapter 8 verse 11. So let's say, you're not just taking one part of the cow, you're taking the whole thing. That is fearing. So what is fearing? It is one heart, one way. What is one heart, one way? It is four-step repentance. So what happens if you do four-step repentance? You and your children Wherever you, where, whether you go overseas, you know, he follows you to give you blessings. That's Jeremiah chapter 32, verse 38. So fearing, it's me doing well and my children doing well. If you want to receive this blessing, let's say amen. So me doing well, my children doing well, we have to receive this. This is an incredible blessing. We have to surely receive this. You, I, we have to receive this. So if I do well and my children do well, you know, if my tomorrow does better, then you become someone with blessings in their late age. So we, us sharing this, we're sharpening each other. My knife becomes better, your knife becomes better. And you do as well as the pastor in front of you. So if the pastor is a Pharisee, Sadducee, then you too become a Pharisee, Sadducee. Matthew chapter 15, verse 14, you'll all end up following to hell. So what is fearing? Let's find Proverbs chapter 19, verse 23. This is fearing. 
So let's find Proverbs chapter 19, verse 23. What is the duty of man? To receive wisdom, to have all your desires fulfilled, to do well, your tomorrow to be better, and your children to do well. So what is this blessing? It's the blessing to go to heaven. You know, you say, oh, I was born with this destiny. You know, I'm only worth a cartload. But no, if you fear, you do more and more well. In the world, they say you're born with with blessings. It's your fate. It's what the heavens have decided. And they say you can't do better than that. But if you fear, you do more and more well. The older you get, it doesn't matter if you're old. You do You do more well. And not just that. Unhappiness, disasters have nothing to do with you. What a precious promise this is. What is fearing? By one heart, one way, he follows you and your children to give you blessings. And on this earth, to have all your desires fulfilled, to receive wisdom. So that is satisfaction. But on top of that, Proverbs chapter 19, verse 23, it's to receive all these things. Let's read it. The fear of Jehovah leads to life so that one may sleep satisfied, untouched by evil. Amen. Fearing is an incredible blessing. Fearing is four-step repentance. If you just do four-step repentance, so I'm sure if you experience when you're doing four-step repentance with tears, afterwards you feel at peace. So if I'm at peace, how many generations? receive peace a thousand generations so as you pass these blessings you don't just it doesn't just end there if someone curses you you just look at them and smile and so they look at you and think you know are you you know what's wrong how how can they be so happy so they can't understand so you you possess this happiness of of god and it's what the world says that utopia comes to me So they talk about utopia, but it doesn't exist. But it happens for us. And that's what's so amazing. So we go to heaven. Because if you fear, you will surely go to heaven. And so because that first thing works, then afterwards, what won't work? 3 John verse 2. Because your spirit does well, everything does well. And so you end up doing more and more well. And disasters cannot come to us. If you want to buy some charm, you know, don't you want this? If you have this, then a thousand generations receive this. So this dawn, let's make this mine. We all have to receive this blessing, this this amazing blessing. We have to make it mine. How precious is this? It's so good. So this is the duty of a man. And doesn't end there. After receiving all this, as time goes by, for miracles to appear before me. And that's why he says to obey my word. That is a man. What is the way of a man? To fear, to go to heaven, to do more and more well on this earth, to block all disasters and unhappiness. So that is the promise of of four-step repentance fearing so to receive this for you and your children to do well and to continuously have miracles we have to all receive this so because this is so good in chinese characters when the gospel came into china they they wrote honoring heaven and loving the people they they say that but they don't know what it means They say, you know, to honor heaven and to love the people. But God says, you yourself have to do well first. 1 Peter chapter 1 verse 22. So if you don't do well, no matter how much you stick up this, these letters, it doesn't work. So when the gospel into China, this is what they realize. The duty of man to honor heaven and love the people. So that's what it's saying in Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 13. Well, fearing, isn't that all? Why does it say to obey? Well, fearing seems to be everything, but to receive the Holy Spirit and then to have obedience. After you're holy, you can obey. This obedience makes miracles happen before you. So we may have received all these blessings, 
But the evil people, even though they may shoot arrows, I can change it to blessings. They may give you poison, but you can change it to blessings. They may dig a pit, but you can change it to blessings. And this only happens by obeying. So in your life, if problems happen, you have to realize he's telling you to obey. But if you obey without repentance, then you're obeying demons. So you do four-step repentance and receive the Holy Spirit. Once you receive the Holy Spirit, the Spirit casts away all the world's demons. So he, when he chases out your demons, then with the Holy Spirit, that person you were arguing with, he casts out those demons. So if you're light and they're darkness, when you look at each other, when that person's darkness departs, that person suddenly, there's some strange phenomenon. He says, oh, you're going to get in trouble. But then all of a sudden they become on your side. So if you do four-step repentance, that person that was trying to argue suddenly becomes someone who wants to help you. So they change to someone who helps you and he makes everything better. And so he makes these miracles where the disasters become blessings. Because of that problem, you do more well. And so he says, all things work together for good. Romans chapter 8, verse 28. So this suffering that you have now cannot be compared to the coming glory. Romans chapter 8, verse 17. So we'll live, experience this. And in all things, we become witnesses. That is the duty of man. So first of all, to fear and to receive all things. Secondly, to obey. So that moment by moment, we change everything to blessings. So the Red Sea is not a problem. You know, rather than be for all the meat of the earth, rather the fish of the sea is better. It's more healthy for us. And during the Exodus, that's all that multitude. He fed them with fish, the fresh fish. They ate it straight away. So how good would that have been? So he gives us the best of everything. Not just that, the abalone and all the shellfish and all and all these uh, these treasures. So it's not a problem. It's blessings. And then all those people following behind, because of the Red Sea, he just washes them, all the enemies away. He cleanses them away. You know, if we watched a movie like this, how exciting would that be? So that's what he says. That's what will give us. And we receive it by obedience. So whatever problem, it will change to blessings. If we obey, it will become blessings. May we all receive this and pass this to our children. This is the duty of man. So this way you receive blessings, that way you receive blessings. When you obey with the small things, you receive blessings. And the big things, by fearing, you receive blessings. And this is the duty of man. So he says, I will help you at dawn. I will help you at dawn. So who says this? God. So what we have to do toward God is to only repent. Let's find Acts chapter 20, verse 21. All we have to do is repent toward God. Then what happens? Jesus Christ comes into our heart. That becomes faith. So you have to test to see if you have faith. If you repent toward God, then you have to test to see if you have faith. Is this our man? It's so good. So as soon as you open your eyes, if you're really tired, you know, you'll experience. If you're really tired, you can't just pop up and just kneel. If you're so tired, your eyes may open. So spiritually, your eyes open, you know, and but your body, it's so heavy. And so with your eyes closed, Lord, please forgive my filthy sins. Why? You know, when kids wake up, they wake up looking for their mother. When we wake up, we have to look for God, our Father. So as soon as we meet God, we have to give up our sins. We don't say, oh God, here, have a chocolate. The best is to repent. That's Acts chapter 20, verse 21. Let's read it together solemnly testifying to both Jews and Greeks of repentance toward God and faith in our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. So in front of God, all we have to do is repent. If we just do four-step repentance, then this 
faith of Jesus Christ, he gives as a gift. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8. So as soon as we open our eyes, as soon as I become conscious, then all we have to do is repent toward God. So if you're, if you're bending over repenting, then God gives you strength. Because you do four-step repentance, you're fearing. If you fear, he gives you knowledge and strength. And with that strength, you slowly get up. And then as you just kneel there, and then it gives you strength to get up and wash your face and then to come and pray, because there's nothing to do but repent to God, toward God. So it's not that I believe. It's He gives you faith. So you have to test to see if you have faith. You have to test, are you continuously repenting to receive faith? If you continuously repent, then your problems become answers. They become blessings. If you continuously repent, then you and your children will receive blessings. You'll go to heaven. You'll do more well. You'll block your disasters. That is the duty of man. At this dawn, let's all receive this. May we, our children, all receive this and have our desires fulfilled. May our desires be fulfilled. God is so good. Is this our man? So today, may these blessings of the duty of man become mine. May our children do well and become patriots. What is a patriot? Someone who does well. You know, someone who lives as a man, that is an obedient child. May we surely do more well. And let's save our country and our people. Who saves? The light, salt, faith. It's no one else. So yes, each person does what they have to do, but our duty is to live by faith. Let's gather our hearts. So what is it I have to confess to God and repent? Still, yes, you may have repented well yesterday, and today you're so excited to have a new start, but we... There's things coming inside of, coming from inside of us that we want to turn back. You know, you may have cleaned the pot, but as soon as you cook something, you know, it gets dirty again. So you have to wash it again. As we keep repenting, oh, I have to keep repenting about fornication. I have to keep repenting about lying. These things keep coming out. And then later, if you wash everything, So each person, because what's come down from our ancestors, you know, you'll realize that's what influences us. You'll realize that's what heredity is. So in front of God, those dirty, filthy things that make me fall, without me realizing they come up again. If we keep washing and washing, then we find our place, the duty of man. For us, there's nothing to do but receive blessings upon blessings and to receive miraculous blessings again and again. And even So even after receiving the fear of God to obey, and then we become such an, a blessed man. Father, these dirty, filthy things of our heart, they, they make me fall again. Lord, I'm surely a sinner. If we confess our sins, Father, you forgive us. Our ancestors, these horrible things that come down, help us not to grumble against our parents, but to realize that's what's come down to me and to confess to you, Lord. And may we be cleansed. If we just repent toward God, then the Father is responsible for our faith in Jesus Christ and things will happen according to our faith. May we all receive this. We believe that our children will surely do more well. In Jesus' name, we thank you and bless. Amen.